Hi, everybody. Hi, Facebook. Hi, YouTube. How are you? What did you want, honey? I was going to get some coffee real quick. Uh, you watch the channel. No, that's fine. Anyways, I am Kimberly from San Diego, California. You can also call me KSN Keto. Um, if you're on Facebook, I am setting up my iPad so that way I can talk to you guys and see all your wonderful comments. So if you're catching this live and you see that red live box up at the top of the screen, if you will drop me a one or say hi and hello. I love talking to you guys. This is Hazel. She loves talking to people too. Hi. Hi, Hazel. Let's get down, please. Mama's cooking. Thank you. Um, so if you're catching me live, say hi, hello. I love talking to you guys. Let me know where you're coming in from. If you are catching the replay and there's no red live box up at the top, um, if you will drop me a number two or say, I miss you or replay. Oh, can you tell that Hazel wants to be a part of this today? Hi. Okay. So anyways, um, you can also set your settings uh, correctly so that you never miss me again. You just tap my face, the three dots in the upper right hand corner. Honey. Yes, dear. Halfway down is follow uh, and turn on live notifications. Give me just a second. Not cute. Thank you. I'm just trying to show the audience that it's not her challenging. She's just. Yes, my dog is wanting to be very playful. As the weather gets colder, she is very, very playful. Okay, doggies, let's scoot out of the kitchen. Oh, you guys it's have like... Cold, Larry. You can't even digest that. Ugh. Come on. Out, out, out. Thank you. Y'all, I've got dog fur all over me. Sorry, this is our house. Um, <laughs> we absolutely love our dogs, and they are, like, always on us. Oh, hi, Hazel. Is this just going to be the Hazel show today? Mommy's got a very short period of time before Josh has therapy. So, okay. No, no. Down. Love you, but down. Thank you. Hi, Holly. Hi, Nancy. Hi, Jermaine. If you're new and you've never watched me live before, if you would drop new and let me know where you're coming in from. Um, I love getting to say hi properly and getting to know each and every one of you. So I have some cauliflower over here that I just toasted up. Um, I did not cook all the way through. You kind of want it a little bit crispy, I guess would be the right word. Um, and so it, I just cooked it with a little bit of olive oil, salt, pepper. Honey, you're going to knock over the camera. Salt, pepper, and um, some garlic powder. Woo. And now I am taking three tablespoons of butter and melting it in my pot. Hi, Demetra. Hi, Shirley. Okay, I'm going to move you guys so that way I can still see your comments. So I have three tablespoons of butter in there heating up. And I am going to pour in three quarters of a cup of heavy whipping cream. Um, if you guys have ever watched me live, when I bake, I tend to be a little more precise with measurements. When I am cooking, I kind of eyeball things. Especially when I'm making mac and cheese. So, mac and cheese, I feel, should just be cooked with love. And you can always make things thicker or cheesier. Uh, just depending on how you want it. So I am not cooking it very high. Y'all, I have dog fur, like, all over me. It's crazy. Does anybody else have dogs that, like, their coat blows and it's just, like, everywhere? Because that's our house. So um, along with this heavy whipping cream, I am going to put in some cream cheese. So, y'all, this is how I buy my cream cheese. Um, it's the Philadelphia brand. I buy it at Costco. And I just buy a big block. Because I use a lot. So, I'm just going to cut off about three ounces of cream cheese and put it in there. That's part of what makes this uh, very keto. 
is that there's a lot of good and healthy fats in it. So we have the Kerrygold butter, we have cream cheese, we have heavy whipping cream. We're gonna put in two different types of cheese in here. So I wanna know how everybody's Friday is going. If you guys are having a good day. Y'all, if you want the cream cheese to melt faster, you can also cut it in like little blocks. I am over here just kind of using the spoon to break it up a little bit. Nidra, yes, that is our house, but both of the dogs um, blow their coats um, a lot, obviously. So sweeping our staircase is a daily chore for us um, right now while they're blowing their coats two or three times a day. So while this is melting and mixing together, I am going to whew, use some pink salt. This has nothing on what we got ready for the black Yeah. So we have white in Yeah. So I just used some Himalayan pink salt and I put it in there. I'm going to put about a half a teaspoon of chili powder in here. Not a lot. Um, you can use more or less depending on if you like the spice or not. Um, I have kids. The oldest would probably love it, but the younger two are not very big on spicy. So I'm going to put some black pepper in there and also some garlic powder because I love garlic. Hi, Lori. How are you today? If you guys get value at, a, at any time during this video, you can feel free to hit the share button, share it out to your friends, your family, your page, um, your groups, whatever. This is a gluten-free recipe. Um, it's also keto. So, doo -doo. and then if you're new and you haven't seen me before, hi, hello, welcome. Um, you can type new down below. Let me know where you're coming in from. Also, don't uh, feel free to friend request me. Take the don't out of that. Just feel free to friend request me and follow me. So you tap my face, the three dots in the upper right hand corner. Halfway down is follow, see first, and turn on live notifications. I come on live every single night. Uh, typically lately it's been in the afternoons because my husband is working a night shift uh, now so we're going live a little bit earlier in the day um, this is actually a recipe that we are going to be using for Thanksgiving as well because my family loves macaroni and cheese so if you guys like mac and cheese or love it if you'll drop a heart down in the comments wow. below and let me know I appreciate it so, and I am just getting this all melted together. Let me see if I can just show you really quick. Okay, so there we go. The cream cheese is still melting in with everything. Hi, Nicole, and thank you for sharing, Nancy. I really appreciate it. John, you might not want to leave that camera alone because the doggies might knock it over. Yes, I was keeping them entertained over there, and then Hazel decided she was going to go check out Mom. Hazel is a mama's girl, if you guys don't know. Hazel? Yes, no, 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 no. Thank you. Hazel is a mama's girl. Topaz is a daddy's girl. Yeah, Hazel. Except for when I'm cooking, and then they both want to be mama's mm -hmm. girls. And when daddy is cooking outside, they both want to be daddy's girls. So I am adding in about a cup of a shredded mozzarella cheese. This is what our uh, store sent to us. Uh, they replaced my full fat mozzarella cheese with um, low moisture part skim. So if you're doing a keto diet, you want to have a full fat mozzarella cheese. 
Um, I am also lazy keto, so to me it doesn't make a big difference that it's already pre-shredded. Um, if it makes a difference to you, I mean, shred your own cheese. I uh, tend to shred my own cheese. Well, now that I have a food processor, I do shred uh, my own cheese quite a bit. But since this is what the store gave me, I'm going to use it. And this is getting a little thick, so I'm going to add a little more heavy whipping cream to it to thin it out just a little bit. And turn down the heat just a little bit because I don't want it to burn. And then on top of this mozzarella cheese, I have a, some cheddar cheese that I shredded. And you'll need about two cups of shredded cheddar cheese. I'm going to but I put about half of that in here to cook with it. And then what I'm going to do is the other half of that is going to go over the top of it. So I will actually mix this all together in a dish, put it in the oven to bake, and then it'll bake for a little bit, and then I will throw some cheddar cheese over the top of it. I will throw some cheddar cheese over the top of it um, in the last like five minutes of baking along with some crumbled bacon because we like bacon in this house. So I don't know how many of you like bacon on top of your macaroni and cheese, but that's kind of the way that we do it here. Actually, that is a question. Do you guys prefer a crispy crust on top of your mac and cheese, or do you like bacon? Um, traditionally, before when I made this, I would do a panko crust. Alexa, stop. Will you let Josh know, honey? Sean? What's yours? Um, will you let Josh know that he's got his therapy with Gabe? <laughs> Y'all, I have timers set throughout the entire house. Hi, Kirsty. Um, so my son actually has his Zoom meeting right now with his therapist. So look at how thick and gorgeous that cheese is. So that is the cheese sauce. So I do not have a square baking dish. I have a round pie plate, and that's what I'm going to do. So I'm going to put my cauliflower that I pre-cooked into this pie plate. And all I cooked this in was a little bit of olive oil, salt, pepper, and um, some garlic powder. And I threw some ancho, um, the dark chili powder on there just because I like that. I feel like when you flavor both things, like you're, you're able to get the full flavor of things. What? Okay, well, we're almost done with this, so, yeah. Nancy, yes, creamy is the way of it here, too. So we're going to just pour all of this cheese over the top. Woo and y'all can mix it together if you like. I like to just pour it over the top because it's going to melt all together. It's going to melt in between all of those cracks. And also I'm in a time crunch because my son has therapy. Sorry, I was trying to get this uh, started a little bit earlier today. and It's just been one of those days. One thing after another keeps coming up. So, but you know what? I got my test done. So, I did not get an A on my test. I got an 85 on my test. It was for um, my nutrition and health class. So this is going to melt down even further in between all of that cauliflower to cover it all up and uh, make it mac and cheese. It's got a beautiful color to it. So I am going to bake this in an oven at 375 for about 10 minutes. 
And of course I would forget to pull. I don't know how many of you use your oven to store things, but I apparently put my baking sheets in here last night. Oops. Anyways, I'm going to put this in the oven at 375 to bake for about 10 minutes. Then I'm going to put the rest of that cheese over the top along with some cooked and crumbled bacon. And then after that bakes for another five minutes, it'll be done. So if you've never watched one of my videos before, you'll see a picture of the finished product down in the original video. Um, so please feel free to look at that. If you want this recipe and any of my other recipes, um, you can type the word recipe down below. Okay, so if you want this recipe, type the word recipe down below. Um, if you wanna be added into the group where I post all of my recipes, type the word group down below. The group that I'm talking about is an amazing keto community. We don't have any strict keto police. There's doctor's videos, there's resources. If you're wanting to go keto or lazy keto or just a healthier lifestyle, it's the place to be. Let me tell you, there's tons of support. I've met some of uh, my best friends and um, accountability partners and wonderful women and men that are part of this group. So if you wanna be in that group, type the word group down below. Make sure that we are friends or that you've sent me a friend request so I can get you into that group. And I would be happy to hook y'all up with all of the wonderful resources along with all of my recipes and thousands of other recipes. So, like I said before, um, if you haven't watched any of my videos before, the final product will be pictured down below after I pull everything out of the oven. I hope that you guys have had a wonderful Friday night or a wonderful Friday. Hope you guys are having a wonderful Friday night. And if there is anything that you want to see in specific, please feel free to message me. I love hearing from you guys. I love hearing your ideas and I want to know. Um, this week and next week, I am trying to focus mostly on Thanksgiving because Thanksgiving is a little more than 10 days away. So, uh, please feel free to message me with your favorite sides so that I can make them keto, lazy keto, or low carb friendly for you. So again, I hope you guys have a wonderful Friday night. I will see you guys tomorrow with a brand new recipe and I'll see you then. Bye. Okay, everybody. So the timer went off for the first time. So we are going to put some more cheese over the top of it. I'm sorry, the picture is not all that great from over there, but the pie pl plate is really hot. So we're going to throw some more cheese over the top of this. This is going to uh, go back in the oven for another five minutes. So this cheese will get nice and crispy. And we're going to put about a cup. Um, you know, you can use more cheese if you like. When I made uh, mac and cheese for my husband, when we were first dating, I think his, the mac and cheese I gave him was like, it had like five pounds of cheese in it. So I used a whole lot of cheese and a whole lot of butter. So, and then I am just going to take my kitchen shears. I cooked up some, about four slices of bacon and I put it on this uh, paper towel to soak up the excess and it's still rather hot. So I'm just going to now you can chop this before you cook it if you're cooking it in the oven. I cooked mine in the air fryer. So I am just slicing it over the top. So, and the kids are all up and active, so I'm just trying to do a fast job of this. Oh. So, so we just spread the bacon out over the top. Let me see if I can turn it around for you guys. So there it is. Ooh. I don't want to tip it too far because some of that oil from the cheese is still in there. 
So I'm going to put it back in the oven for another five minutes. Really, for my family, it might be another 10 because I like for my cheese to be extra crispy on top. Um, and then when we come back and I pull it out of the oven again, it'll be ready to serve. So I hope you guys are having a great night, and I'll see you guys when we are ready to pull it out of the oven. Bye.